jobs. With just days to go until Thanksgiving, New Mexico food pantries are trying to get meals for those in need. Food pantries like the storehouse say that this is one of the busiest weeks of the year, with close to 1,000 people lining up every morning. But as Action 7 News reporter Kirsten Swanson explains, those shells are quickly running dry. As the line grows outside of the storehouse in downtown Albuquerque, they show up in record numbers. This food disappears from the shelves. It's an example of supply and demand. A lot of people hold off on getting items from food pantries in November until the end of the month. They tend to wait until the week of Thanksgiving so they can have food. So pantries across the state see a huge rush of people. On the flip side, some of our shelves are getting kind of bare. The need for food donations skyrockets. Pantries have a hard time keeping up with the demand. Going into the holiday week, pantries need all kinds of items. Canned goods, so they have long shelf life, um, soups and stews and canned fruits and vegetables, pastas, dry goods. Volunteers are stocking and sorting as fast as they can, but if the food runs out, the chances for a Thanksgiving meal fade away. In Albuquerque, Kirsten Swanson, KOAT Action 7 News. Meantime, nonprofits around the city are asking for a few things this week. First, food donations, as we heard, and second, volunteers to help hand those donations out. Now, that help becomes more scarce, of course, the closer we get to the holiday. New Mexico is ranked as one of the worst states for food insecurity, which means people often don't know where their next meal here in New Mexico is actually coming from. Today, the governor.